the way in which I perceive society right now and how it is and uh, going through my personal journey through this, you know, this new age, this new uh, digital world and stuff like that. So Talk Less was my first actual release song that I ever released. Um, well, it's not the first song that I made because I've made loads of songs that I haven't released because I don't want to release it yet or some of them are just too trash and it's the songs you first make when you become an artist. The inspiration behind it was just was just myself really, myself within my thoughts and I wanted that real song. It was it's basically about the it's basically about the way in which I perceive society right now and how it is and uh, going through my personal journey through this, you know, this new age, this new a digital world and stuff like that. I talk less but you talk more. I'm in battle, mole, I war. Not the vacations I ignore. Multiplying verses like it's four. Uh, so yeah, the multiplying verses like it's four is obviously because each of my choruses have four lines and that's my journey on like how to write. And it'll be, you know, I've been writing for a minute now, say a minute, like a year. Like it's like sometimes I used to be that over, that character is like, duh, 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 duh. like I just realised I need to slow down, I need to talk less. Yeah, you talk more, I have to listen, and that's how you become more wise, I guess. And you learn a lot by just sometimes just stepping back from a situation and just listening. And I don't care about anything, I don't care about notifications, about who's doing what, I'm in, I'm in battle, I'm in war mode, I'm in battle mode like war, like, I'm literally going in this strong. Never pop pistols, troubleshoot, that's what I take double use. Fuck this game, it's like a zoo, dist your key, then I queue. I just bit knowledge my IQ. It's basically that's just me saying how my that's basically my interpretation of how to win and succeed in what I'm doing in my life. So it's like you see all these rappers they're talking about shooting weapons, money, girls, cars, everything. For me, it's like oh, I've never shot a gun, never popped pistols, never shot anything. I troubleshoot. I troubleshoot my issues, and the whole reason is troubleshoot relates correspond to like the digital world when you're on a computer you're troubleshooting uh the fuck this game is like a zoo i'm not sure if many of you got the reference but it was from russ's album zoo like this game is a zoo in like uh in rap and hip-hop especially so so competitive one of the most competitive sports people don't understand that like uh people really be getting done out here they're getting killed and uh you know like we've got to be impactful so it is like a zoo everyone's just going for each other like diss tracks here you know, like all the violence there. Uh, the diss jockey then I accused because uh, my dad and uncle actually, like years ago, like helped me a little bit, like, you know, just do some like DJing and stuff like that because they know a bit as well. So, you know, when you diss jockey, like DJ, diss jockey, because people don't understand that's what DJ stands for, diss jockey, then I cue. When you cue, it's like, duh, 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 duh. it's like it played that last few seconds of what you just recorded. And the thing with that IQ thing, yeah, it's not meant to say like, oh, I'm Einstein, man, I'm intelligent, but I just spit the knowledge that I know in my brain. I'm not just making up, compiling words together, and like, I've learned this all myself, so I'm going to say, from my, my perspective, as a young 18-year-old man, uh, how I'm feeling. So the first verse goes like this. Three witches and a stir like stew. My buzz it ill like I got the flu. Ice is heavy, had to chew. The three witches line is from Macbeth, like three witches and a stir like stew. So they're like, stirring like where you stir a pot, the three witches like like I'm sort of stirring the pot a bit here because it's like I'm saying stuff as facts but I'm also making moves. Uh, especially on like YouTube that you know it's gonna get to me where I am because I'm stirring the pot. Ice is heavy, I had to chew, so yeah I do have I've got a I'm not actually wearing it now, that's how like, ironic this is, but you know I've got a watch, I've got a uh, a ring, I've got a chain, I've got earrings, but there's stuff that I've bought I haven't been given that like, I've had to work for that. So ice is heavy, had to chew, like I had to I have to work for that, so some people in this life I just get given stuff. Hit me up and I come through inspiration from the woo opening your point of view. With funny tunnel vision then you lose. That's just like to the people that are very narrow narrow minded they just got this tunnel vision and like, oh I'm not open to this or that or he's doing this too harsh or he's rapping about this but it doesn't matter like logic says like as long as you're having fun with it and you're uh, you're preaching a positive message like that's all that matters. And obviously the inspiration, most of my inspiration when I was younger is literally from the cause of hip hop. So Wu Tang the Roots, Nas, all them big people are like, that works well with the woo. I'm finna done with it, done with it, I'm finna run with it, run with it, crust in my pair, so now I gotta run quick. Girls in my past, yeah, seem to be all thick. That line is a bit like, the run line is basically me running away from my past and running away from situations I've been in the past that didn't 
really stuff I didn't want to be involved in and also it, it's a double meaning as well when I got jumped about a year ago and almost died quite frankly I'm literally running away from that so I'm finna done with all of this uh, crashed in my past so like mistakes in my past so now I've got to run quick I've got to skip away further from that and girls in my past like the people I've been with the people I was hanging around with the girls have been to be all thick like thick in that mind like thick as in like you know what I mean like thick with two C's but like it just shows that like just because a uh, girl's you know pretty doesn't mean you know this is the right one often I reminisce about when I was young and I played as a kid Monopoly, no one can fuck with me. I'm craving higher sub bids. So like I'm here is like the if you when you hear this in the song it's almost like a thought, like I'm reminiscing about when I was a kid, you know, I used to love Monopoly playing with the family and like when I used to play that I was to be the one craving bids from other people. I'm the one putting in the highest bid in this, yeah. So you know what I'm saying? It's just it's sort of like a, a low key like weird flex but okay, but you know, it, it was just a it's just a cool line I thought in my head. Now I'll be studying the books like the pyramids. Time to, yeah, when I work, now that is limited. I look a deeper to what are these images. Born entertainer, yeah, I got the diligence. That's like me saying, I've done my research. I do my hard work. I'm not just gone into this YouTube, uh, music, a sport, whatever it is that I'm doing in my life. I do my research and I've looked deep into what their image is because like most people don't do that and obviously most people nowadays they have an image like online or in person but that's just a persona a bit like me in a way I have my YouTube persona but I look deeper to what their image is and the time to when I work now that is limited that's to the people that say oh I don't have time to do this or that and quite frankly you do I was working uh, 9 to 5 and also doing YouTube videos and at night 1 2 3 a.m. making music so if I can do it there's plenty of people out there in that situation that can also do this paycheck then I leave life check Man is greed, patience is what you need, I take my shot, I don't bleed. It's just like them people that do stuff just for checks, just for money, paycheck, then I leave, okay, I'm going to get this check and I'm going to go, I don't care about the uh, or the, the community, the, the rap community, whether that's with you on YouTube or whatever, they're just like, okay, I'm going to get my money, get my bread and go. And I'm saying, that's I'm, I'm, like, I'm there to that person, it's almost like a conversation saying, nah, that's greed, yeah, patience is what you need, because patience will get you further to when you think you are at the moment just because of the money. And I'm saying, I take my shot, I don't bleed. And when I say that, as in like, I take my shots from people, but not literal gunshots, but my shots that I've taken, uh, it, through all the dirt, through all the like the grittiness, and uh, I still come out on top most of the time. Uh, I kind of like this a uh, few bars here. So OG, OG gamma circle small, many fake ones. Yeah, they fall. I've been writing since the fall of these rappers that I owe. So this is our like, OG gang. Like they're probably watching this now. So that compiles of um, I'm not sure if I should say this. Like uh, a few of my one, well, a few of my best mates. That's always like kind of been there for me. So that's uh, Howard. Zach and Harrison, like we have this group chat, we, we call ourselves OG for our own, own personal reasons. It's, it's well, you probably know old gangster, like old, old, old geezers, even. And I said OG got my circle small because, yeah, my circle really be small. Like, I have a lot of friends, but I only have a few very small circle of actual friends, you know what I'm saying? <coughs> and many fake ones, yeah, they fall, yeah. Like a lot of your people that you think are friends are not your friends, they fall quicker than you'd expect to, and then they come running back when you need something. I always like this line because I always wanted that fast paced sort of logic, that rapping sort of. I wanted to spit fast, so this line took me quite a few attempts to do, and uh, yeah, I, I guess I mastered it sort of. Because of that, when I grip it, I kill it, my village resilient, you're hearing my meanings and reasons. That bleeding, now you fuck with me, so now you're appealing. I used to be dreaming, conceding down to me from the beginning. My ego is dripping, now I can say, fuck you, I'm winning. Like, it's a quite a long bar, but yeah, it's, it goes quite quickly in the song, as you can tell. That's just like, whatever I put my mind to, when I grip it, when I grip the mic, when I grip YouTube, whatever I have, yeah, I behold, yeah, I'm going to kill it. Like, I'm going to do my best to try it and just rule that. Like, my village resilient, so all my emotions are going out, all my meanings, and you're going to know my meanings, my reasons, all defined. And now you didn't use the fuck with me, so now you, you do fuck with me. That's a lot of friends or people online that fuck with me now because I'm not doing this. And now you're appealing to me. Doubt, you doubted me from the beginning because my, my ego was dripping. I did have a bit of an ego within myself. So now I can say, fuck you, I'm winning. I love that line because it's just like, it's like a subtle, it's not actually a subtle flex, it's a very big flex. It's, it is like my ego coming out to say, fuck you right now, I'm winning, don't come back to me just because I'm winning, succeeding now. Fuck what you say when I'm feeling, yeah. Myself is my wealth, I'm healing, yeah. Truth is to come up revealing, 
yeah, taking my shot when I'm killing, yeah. But like, when I'm feeling what I'm feeling, don't get involved in that, because that's my thing, and I'm taking my shot, so it has nothing else to do with anybody else. Now, this last verse, I just sort of go in with, like, the technical flow. This took me, hey, this song, funny enough, took me, like, a year to write. I got the innocent melody, you cannot step to me, I got the recipe, don't fuck with felonies, hearts with the memories, hardly shooting from distance and finished with penalties. So that's literally, like, just going out, like, responding to all my haters, saying this, that, and it's like, oh, my heart's with my memory. Memories. My heart's with what I'm doing at the moment. Synthesizing sounds for scholarships. Work on work or work at I commit. Building blocks with rocks and recommit. Targeting these with the arrow is here. That line today has been like disagreeing with the whole educational and systematic system, which is you know, you have to go to school, college, university, get a job. Like, I'm not really about that. That's why I'm trying to make it up on my own. It was like synthesizing sounds, so like making sounds, which I was doing like literally in my loft, like uh, from starting from like a year and a half ago when I started music. Fuck scholarships, fuck any of that. Work a work a work I commit. That's how much work I'm putting into everything I'm doing now. So it's not like I'm bumming around at home. I'm actually putting in work. Building blocks with rocks and recommit. So how they used to do it in like years, years ago. It's like if you wanted to build a house, build blocks, build rocks. So we're going from the foundations here. Targeting these when the arrow is hit. Negative energy that was admit. Well I tell them I'm venom they're ducking and quit. Pilling up the pairs, hypocritical, far from the future, you only be subliminal. So that's me, the, the arrow to the knee is like the meme of like, I took an arrow to the knee thing, everyone knows that. The negative energy doubters admit, so all these doubters, all these haters, yeah, they're all they're releasing is negative energy on me, and when I tell them they're venom, they're ducking and quit, they just go off and they don't even care. I'm pulling up my past hypocritical because it's hit it, like I don't understand this cancel culture, I don't agree with it, because how you are now is different to how you were five years ago, ten years ago, people change. And I said, far from the future, you're way, way, way far ahead of the future. You only read subliminals, so you only look into little things and you don't read everything from the future. I like this bar. My lyrical syllables, minimal criminals, biblical miracles help additional visuals. So that's saying, my skills, I don't have any crime, no no criminal, my lyrical syllables, so do, 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 you know what I mean, that I'm rapping about. Uh, the biblical references that I've had and sort of miracles that I've been given to be blessed to do what I'm doing. Helps additional visual, helps additional visuals, so th this is a visual you're watching now, it helps you understand. Afterlife scenes feel in purgatory, limited resources the end of my story so purgatory so like heaven or hell sort of thing after like scenes i'm thinking about in the future of being in heaven sort of thing like that and stuff like that